2016 is not likely to be the year of the BRICS, or at least not for the right reasons. Russia and Brazil are mired in recession, and the Chinese economic slowdown is shaking global confidence. Turning first to Brazil, um, the Brazilian economy is expected to contract once again this year, although at a slower pace than it did in 2015. At the same time, unemployment's increasing and inflation remains stubbornly elevated. The government this year really needs to enact structural reforms to the economy if it's to place growth back on a sustainable footing. But of course, this is far easier said than done. Looking at Russia, the Russian economy is reeling from the dual impact of um, the falling oil price and also the impact of EU sanctions. Declining um, oil revenues are making the government rein in spending this year, and this is going to put further downwards pressure on the economy. Looking at China, the economy will continue to slow in 2016, and this is having uh, global ramifications. The key challenge for the government is to continue its rebalancing away from investment-led growth, to rein in debt in the country, and also to avoid stimulating any further asset bubbles. In the first few weeks of the year, a falling renminbi uh, wreaked stock market havoc in China and also had shockwaves around the world. It's also led to a decline in global confidence for Chinese economic management. Finishing on better news, if we look at India, the Indian economy is expected to be the top performer amongst the BRICS in 2016 and also the top performer of all major emerging markets. Uh, India is a beneficiary of low commodity prices, being a net importer, and inflation is coming under control. Once again, though, the Indian government also needs to enact really serious um, structural reforms to improve the business environment if it's to be able to maintain this strong pace of growth. So all in all, 2016 is going to be a difficult year for the BRICS and one that we hope will be characterised by serious structural reforms.